Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request from Mobius 13 hours ago. Viewer request again, as my name still hasn't shown up in the list. Yeah, it happens. There, there's. I'll do a video about this. <laughs> I need to do a video about people's suggestions not making the list. It just happens. There's all sorts of reasons why, but you know, just request it again if it doesn't show up. That's just what you have to do. May I request a video going over the comprehensive look at an aircraft's damage model in DCS? I mean, I'm not sure about comprehensive, but yes, we can look at the damage model and show how it works. I.e., is it based on a damage point system? Enough bullet hits says your wings fall off and it's racked up enough points. Uh, yeah, that's correct, basically. Or is it locational damage uh, accurately modeled things of that nature would be awesome okay right um and i do i do have a i mean you know i'm not a programmer but i've got a fairly good idea of how it works because i've talked with a developer in dcs world to speak about roughly how it works and so i'll translate that to you so we'll jump into dcs now and um and give it a go over so this is our understanding of how it works we have systems in DCS. Systems is, for lack of a better word, systems is the word that I'm going to use. One system is, if you like, the main world. So this map, Persian Gulf, that is one system, okay? Within that system, there are subsystems. So in this case, we're going to have uh, an FA-18C, an F-15, an F-14. They are subsystems. And their system, if you like, belongs to the guy that wrote that particular module. So the F-14B will be a subsystem that works within the ED's core world system. This would be a subsystem, the F-15, whoever wrote it, I don't know, Bell Simtech or whoever, it doesn't really matter. And the F-A-18 will be a separate system within. Even this guy here, uh, the BTR, will be a separate system operating and interacting within the main system. So, how it works is, if I've got this F-18 here and I fire an AMRAM, in fact, before I fire that AMRAM, that AMRAM belongs within this F-A-18 system. It's, it's owned by this F-A-18C system. As soon as that missile leaves the rail, if you watch a multiplayer where things are a bit more glitchy, you'll see a sudden glitch. It'll disappear and reappear again if you kind of do it in slow motion. And that is that missile changing from ownership of this system here to the DCS world system. It's basically being deleted from this system here, the F-18 system, being recreated into the world system. And it's now owned by the DCS world core system, okay? And it'll fly along its flight path until it hits a mountain or a plane or whatever. And it's now property of the world system. But let's look at that in reverse. Let's say that missile had been fired by a bad guy. It's now property of the main core world system. And then it gets within what it deems as, you know, fusing distance of this aircraft here system and blows up, say here, say 50 feet off to the right. What happens is it never becomes part of this FA-18C system. Instead, what is it? what it does, while it's in the main core system, it explodes, this explosion is created, and then the main core system sends a ping to this FA-18C system and says, OK, a missile has exploded. I've detected that it's caused some damage to a certain amount of your hitboxes, and an aircraft system here is divided into several hitboxes, collision boxes, whatever you want to call them. And it says, I've calculated that these certain hitboxes have taken this many points of damage. OK, now where the hitboxes are, the shapes of the hitboxes and how many hitboxes are used, I'm pretty sure is part of the airplane system. So, for instance, an F-A-18, I think the wing in an F-18, because it has a really cool damage model, is divided, I think, into three hitboxes. You've got a hitbox like that. The hitbox looks very similar. It's like a box that's kind of shrunk over the part of the aircraft that it's modeling. It's like a simplified version of the mesh that you actually see. So you'd have one hitbox there, one hitbox in the middle of the wing, and one hitbox in the outside of the wing. I think that's how the F-18 works. The F-15 has two on the wing, so you've got one that's roughly that shape, okay, and one that's roughly that shape. And this is how it works also for, uh, you know, actual collisions for a plane running into a plane. The F-14 is a bit simpler. It just has, uh, re you know, they spent all the time in the F-14 on the inside. So the outside hitboxes, collision models, whatever we want to call them, are a little bit simpler. So the whole wing on the F-14 is just one hitbox shrunk around the mesh of that wing. So let's go back to what we were saying. The world, the missile blows up, the world core pings the F-18 and says, I've detected that the, that hitbox, that hitbox, that hitbox, and maybe that left engine hitbox have received this many points of damage. 
then the aircraft system accepts that acknowledges it it changes its 3ds its 3d studio mesh so it applies different meshes so if enough points have happened on this hitbox there then the end of this wing becomes you know the mesh just shows it blown off and the flight model adapts so that okay i've lost this bit of wing here i'm going to change my parameters so that i fly differently and so on and so that's pretty much my understanding of how the point system and the hitbox system works in DCS. It may be more complicated than that. Like I said, it's just a quick chat I had with a developer at one point. Now, I guess we're going to go and visualize that. I'll see some F-15. I'm in a BTR or whatever the hell I'm in. Let's go and have a play. So let's apply some bullets. These bullets are will become part of the world core system until they... Uh, are detected to hit that hitbox there at which point the f-15 will be pinged that some points have been ducted from that hitbox there and we'll see what happens you can see the explosion and you can see the 3d mesh for that outer wing has been changed so it looks like to us that that piece has been blown off and the flight model will be adapted so it will slew to the left and and and, and so on and some fire has been added uh, let's do the inner hitbox Again, when enough points of damage. Oh, look, it looks like it's three, point, uh, three points uh, of, of the wing, I'll see. So let's try if we can get this last bit. In fact, let's go and have a look at it. Yeah, it is. Right, so this is a three-pointer. Wow. I mean, it shows how good these uh, these FC3 planes are really top-notch in terms of their damage models, if not the best. They're just so cool. I'm going to try, trying to hit that one there now. You can see the explosions coming out from the middle of the hitbox. I'm not sure it's detecting... I don't think that's a good... I don't it, is. it is? Okay. Just it's last my flab. Okay, I'm going to have to reload. And now it's got fuel leaking out of there and, and so on. Uh, and the t horizontal stab is... Oh, look, I've hit, I'm, hitting, I'm hitting the tail by accident. So I don't think I can cut any more of that wing off, at least with uh, this angle that I'm firing at. But what I've done, accidentally done... Could. What I've accidentally done is shot the tail off. Hit my flap. Roger. Maybe only the flap comes off like that. Yeah, I forget now. I thought it was three, but it could just be the two. Yeah, uh, uh, the models all appear to be a bit uh, different in how they work. Uh, the uh, hitboxes, I believe, are part owned by the plane, if you know what I mean, rather than the DCS world. Let's, uh, let's try shooting that stablader off, or whatever it's called. I always forget. Don't forget my nose, too. Oh, yeah. Okay, I oh, no, see just a few hit points and the uh, the stablader's gone. There's probably a randomizer in there as well. One thing I've noticed in DCS is to simulate... I want to say about getting myself into trouble. But to make things seem cleverer than they actually are, and I mean this in a good way, there's loads of randomizers in DC as well. We've noticed while doing all of the kind of testing videos that we've done, they put randomizers everywhere to make things, you know, seem a little bit comp more complex than they are. And that's good because randomizers is a great way of making something seem complicated, even though, uh, but, you know, not taking up system resources. Nose, you can see, first of all, the texture change of the 3DS. You see that? And then next, ping, the 3DS model changes and, and, and that happens. So on, I don't think canopies are modelled at the moment. Oh, look at that, canopies. It might work, I'll see what happens. Yeah. It. yeah, I hit it. Oh, yeah. I hit there it. Um, and so it's just great. Yeah. Damage. yeah. Uh, so I can basically take just about anything off. Banding gear and DCS are not modelled in terms of damage, so I can't shoot that landing gear off, um, when they're extended at least. They're only modelled so if you come and land you know painfully then they'll get damaged like that um, that said when they're um, up and inside the model they can be damaged from actually hitting the model itself it's a bit weird how it works anyway i think we'll explain that as best we can now we're going to go over to the f-14 the f-14 great plane i'm not saying it's not i'm sure you'll all agree but um they've done very little work in terms of the exterior damage model so we're going to show what a simple damage model looks like so if you want to go to the f-14 rc for instance, we've only got one kind of funny shaped hitbox for the wing, so let's try that. So if I shoot the end, yeah, just back in that, you see the whole wing falls off. Uh, and that's just how it is, you know. Uh, stabilator, we've got one there, I think. Ping, and that's come off. Tail, you can't blast the tail off like you can on the F15, but it will change its texture on the 3DS. If you do enough, I think. Has that got bullet holes in it, RC? I thought I that did. It does. Oh no, it doesn't. Uh -uh. That's weird. 
I'm just gonna reload. And Somewhere try. there's a hitbox for the engines, probably center. Yeah, the engines are. Yeah, the, it's re as simple, they're, they're really simple. So I can sit and shoot the engines, and I won't do any damage like I will of an F-15. But instead, you just got a kind of box in the middle of the aircraft that kind of simulates the engine damage. It's a bit weird, if I'm honest. I don't know how they've done it exactly. I don't think we'll ever find it. So I've done. I've hit it at the right angle there or whatever. It's detected the hit. There and you it's go. Now, but they won't blow off, will they? No, they don't blow off. Uh. uh the t I've never seen a fin block, we'd know by now. Uh, also, you know, simplified cockpit isn't modelled at all. Bullets will just go through the cockpit. Uh, the nose might have some 3DS texture changes, but no actual mesh changes. That's an example of a simple model where you can blow the wing off, you can blow the stabilator off, uh, you can kind of hit the middle and it kind of turns the engines off. But that's about, I think, all you can do from memory, RC. Can't hit any of the wheels or TCS or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, I think that's it. And um, one bad thing about that, again, Dominus Slag the F-14, everyone loves it, and whatever I say, no one will stop loving it. Um, when we go through to canyon runs, this thing, this, this plane, has it's taken 14 SAMs uh, before in a canyon run, and because it hit them in hitboxes that just don't exist, um, like the tail fin and stuff like that, it's taken those 14 missiles and just carried on like normal, whereas an F-15 would be crippled by it. So that's just one bad thing about the lack of... See, look at that. Which is nothing. So that's just something to bear in mind anyway. Uh, that's how our understanding of the hitbox point system and the, the kind of systems working together with each other work in DCS. Obviously, if you convert that into multiplayer where it has to compensate for lag, weird things happen. So if you've ever noticed um, in maybe a warbird fight or something, you've shot near the plane blatantly missed, you've seen the traitor miss the plane and then suddenly it gets a pilot kill and the hostile pilot dies. But that's just because of latency. On, on one, one guy's screen the bullet hit him and you can do pilot kills in DCS by the way. Uh, try and get RC there, may or may not work. And on your screen it's completely missed and that's just because of latency. It's going to happen with all games, especially with fast moving objects. So you just have to, so the, so the hitbox system doesn't work very well with ma when the planes are close to each other and high lag situations but you know there's nothing anyone can do about that. Anything you want to add to that Super RC? Yep, that's it. I hope you enjoyed that and see you later.